I was recently introduced to Spectra, which is a page builder for WordPress. It uses the block editor within WordPress, sometimes known as Gutenberg, and it just makes it better. I've been playing around with it today, and I just wanted to give you a quick first look at what you can do with this plugin and why you might want to add it to your WordPress website. There is a free version available of the plugin as well as a pro version. I'm using the pro version in this example. Uh, I'll put a link up now if you want to go check it out and you'll also find links to everything I talk about in the description. If you want to try the free version, just simply go into the plugin section in your WordPress website, do an add new and do a search for Spectra and you should find it. So let's jump on the computer right now and let me just show you a few of the really cool things that I like about Spectra. Okay, so I've got a little demo site set up. It's just running the 2024 theme. And well, it's just somewhere I can show you the kind of stuff that I've been playing around with uh, on Spectra today. I'm still learning the, the plugin. It's quite new to me, but what I've seen so far, I really like. So let's install it first. And as I mentioned, it's a free plugin. So if you go to plugins and add new, do a search for Spectra and install it. Now there is a pro version available with some extra bells and whistles and features. I'll put a link up to that now. It's an affiliate link. Thank you very much if you use it. But for now, you're probably fine just playing around with the free version until you come across something that you want from the pro version. Then I'd appreciate if you use that link. Anyway, let's activate. And we're good. Now, actually, I have got the pro version, so um, maybe I will install that. Just, uh, well, why not? I've got it. I don't think I'm going to be using the features of it, but uh, let me just show you how you do it. You download it from the website, upload it and install it. And did that do it? I think that actually did it. Did that? Okay. You have to do it twice, obviously, for whatever reason. <laughs> Spectral Pro, install. Let's do it. Come on. There we go. So these are the settings. You get a license key if you do get the pro one and you can just pop it in here. You've got a whole load of other options, but to be honest, you're probably uh, not gonna wanna uh, mess with these. Oh, that's quite handy. There is a coming soon mode so you can create a quick page and um, you know set that as the coming soon. If you're, you're building a site and you don't want people to, to look at it until you're ready. What is quite useful in here is the blocks and extensions section where you can turn on and off stuff that you do and don't want. Now I'm gonna leave it all on as we're playing around, but when you get into it and you know which blocks you're using all the time and the blocks that you never use, you can turn those off so that, you know, it just doesn't look so cluttered when you're working. So let me jump into what's cool about it. Let's create a page. So new page. And of course it is the block editor, which you're probably familiar with, especially if you use themes like uh, Popcorn or Gutenberg, Gutenberg, or sorry, I mean any of the uh, the default WordPress themes. It's Gutenberg, it's the block editor. What do we call it now? Do we still call it Gutenberg? I'm not sure. Because I'm running 2024, it's uh, suggesting that maybe I wanna use a pattern, but no, I will leave that for now. So yeah, it's the block editor. So we can add blocks by clicking on the plus. And if we click on browse all, we can see that there is a whole load of new ones at the top here. We've got Spectra and then here is Spectra Pro. So then you get a few extra ones with Spectra Pro, like an Instagram feed and a loop builder. Our loop builders are quite handy. I would say that, but for now, let's not worry about that. So we've got containers. Now containers, I think are basically like groups. You remember groups in the, um, Block editor, these things, it's basically like that. So if we add a container, uh, we can select the layout. And there's a whole load of cool layouts. Say, so for example, something like this looks cool, huh? Wow, we could add all sorts of things. You could add uh, like a, a, um, a heading. We are a really cool, cool, cool company. And that's, you know, the heading. You've got typography options down here, so you can adjust the size, medium, small, extra, super large. You've got some dimensions here, so you can add padding and margin. It's all kind of straightforward stuff. You've got two styles, you've got the default, or you've got with asterisks. If you want an asterisk, you know, maybe. 
and uh, in here you've got you know font family and that kind of stuff. But yeah, generally you would change the uh, the typography at the site level. But maybe you do want to change the typography for this particular bit of text. In which case you'd come in here, go to font family, and then you know we could choose something else, like inter. System Sans Serif. There's not a lot to choose from, to be fair, but I guess you could add more fonts if you wanted to. Over here, maybe we want to add an image. I'm going to add a few things and then I'm going to show you some really cool stuff. So let's add uh, an image. What have we got? Have I got an image to hand? Uh, let me take one from my other website. Uh, what have we got? Something that's not too big or small. Let's have a look at this. There we go. It's a picture of a Building, there we go, yeah, perfect. Then down here, maybe we're gonna add a paragraph. This is a wonderful paragraph. And you know, you fill it up with text or whatever you like, maybe some emojis. <laughs> and then here, let's add something else. So we've got things like quotes or uh, FAQs or a countdown, or even a counter, let's do a counter. Mm, nice. So there's a whole load of new blocks. That's the first thing that I, I really like about it. The uh, the next thing I like is all the extra options you get. So over here uh, on the right-hand side, you've got your options. Let me bring up the, uh, the list view so we can see what we're playing with. So we're on the header at the moment, which we've already looked at. But if we go to the container, there's some really cool stuff. So you've got the width. So you can adjust this to be in uh, percentages or pixels. Probably would like it like that. Well, no, not too big, but you, you know you can adjust the uh, the ratios. I want to keep it all on the same line. Got the overall container, so that's the the kind of width on the the entire page, and you can adjust that as you like. What I really like is that each option has the ability for you to change it to be for tablets or for mobile, so you can make granular uh, changes whether it be for a tablet or a phone or a computer. Now that is lacking in the default page builder, I think. And I did a video a little while back on adding a plugin to add that functionality, but that was only very basic functionality. This is actually um, a lot better because you can do it on you know each different setting. You can even, talking about mobiles and uh, tablets, you can go to tablet view and then maybe you want to change the layout of this. So for example, at the moment, if we go, uh, what do I need to go into container? I am still finding my feet. So <laughs> I don't know, down into layout, there we go. You've got all these flex options. So at the moment it's going you know, sideways, but we could make it go down if we wanted, or the other way, or that way. And this is just going to be on the tablet because I'm just looking at the tablet options. If I go back to desktop, it's as it was. I think that's really cool because, yeah, you can make pages just look perfect on every single type of screen. So in here, there's loads of extra options that, you know, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but you can play around with them. You can adjust the wrap. It, it gives you so much flexibility. I really, really like it. In here, we've got styles. So we've got, you know, the usual kind of colors, text colors and background colors. Maybe we want to add a nice little... Uh, you know, light to background, a little bit of gray, maybe a little red, whatever you like. Um, you've got borders and as you know, lots to choose from. We've got shadows and again, loads of shadows to choose from. I love all these extra features. Let's add a little, little solid border too. There we go. And then you've got, you know, usual kind of spacing uh, options where you can change the gaps and the padding and, and all the usual stuff. And then some advanced stuff. You might want to make it sticky. There's animations. Got to love a little animation, right? Have a little zoom in. Let's make it a little longer. And yeah, let's have a look at what this looks like. Let's publish it. And uh, oh, hey, I missed the view page link. Let's click up here and have a look. Hey, I missed the animation. Came in a little too quick. Anyway, there you go. Really fun. Now, the next thing I like about Spectra, and um, actually, I will before we get onto the next thing, I'll show you quickly those design um, areas where you can adjust fonts, for example, for the whole site. 
If we go back to the site and go to edit site, again, this is the same as with popcorn and other themes. When we come in here, we're kind of editing the template rather than the content, you know, so, you know, if we want to change the header or the home page or the layout of a blog post or a page that applies to the whole site, we would do it in here. I'm going to be doing some more tutorials. So yeah, subscribe, but make sure you don't miss out on them and where we can go into all this stuff in more detail. But in terms of the overall styles, they're up here where you can set, you know, typography for the various different elements here. So the fonts and sizes and, and everything like that. I'd imagine if you want to add more fonts, yeah, you can just upload them here or you can install them by connecting to Google fonts. So yeah, I'll go into all that in another tutorial, but this video is just the first look and it's just to show you some of the cool stuff I've seen. So let me just go back to the home page. In fact, let's go to the page we just created. Um, which I guess is no title. We didn't give it a title. Let's give it a title, a title. There we go. Perfect. So let me just get rid of this, this container, and I want to show you the next thing that's really cool. So say you want to create a page and you're stuck. You're looking at a blank screen like this, and you're like, I don't know what to start with. I don't know. I've got no idea. Well, we've got this design library where we've got a whole load of patterns. So you can just kind of stick these patterns together. Um, so let's start with a hero. I need a hero. No, no, sorry, I won't sing. You click insert. You do need to sign up with an account, which is free. It's free. Don't worry. I've already got one. I'm just going to click get started. If you've used any of their um, products before, then you'll be absolutely fine. Because Spectra, if you go to the website here, you can create an account as well. Um, but they've got a whole load of other products that you may have used before. Um, like Astra, you know Astra. It's all by the company called Brain, is it Brainstorm Force? I think so. Yeah, Brainstorm Force. If you ever used any Brainstorm Force products, you'll have an account, which I have before. I've used the Elemental add-ons was one I used a long time ago. I really like the company. They've got a lot of good products. So anyway, back to here. I've connected my account. It did it while I was messing around and uh, it's restored my last version. So thanks for that. Never mind. We can just get rid of these messages. Get rid of this at the top. And yeah, that's what I've just imported. So we've got this at the top. Get rid of this. We've got a bit more of a better view. Design library. Add uh, the about. This one will be fine. There we go. So yeah, you can piece together a, a page just by kind of stitching these um, design libraries um, patterns together. We've got features, feature list, contact forms, locations, why choose us, calls to action. Really cool. There are also complete pages. So maybe you want a, a services page or a home page or an about us page. They're all here. And then all you need to do is, you know, add them to uh, your empty page. Although mine's not quite empty, but it should still work. Just swap out some of these images and you're good to go. So really love that. Really helps to get you going. But there's also these kits, which are, you know, well-designed, virtually nearly a whole website to get you started if you want to get something out really quickly. Now, a lot of them are free, some of them are premium. If you want the premium ones, you need to come, as I say, to the website, the special website, which you'll find a link below. Really appreciate it if you use it. And um, if you come into pricing, you want the essential toolkit and you get then the premium starter templates. You also get a copy of Astra Pro, which is a very good theme. But as I said, there are a lot of free ones like these. So maybe we want to create a kid's site and we're, you know, doing, I don't know, a contact us page. We can just click it and go insert template. Oh, I stuck it in that block. Tell you what, the best thing to do is with a new page. This page has become a mess. Let's go and create a new page. <laughs> I'll edit that out, don't worry. So you go to new page. I don't want you. 
Maybe it's a home page. Okay, let's do home page. Why not? <clears throat> Go to design library, kits. This one, the kids one. And then find the home page, which I guess is that one. Looks like a home page. Insert. There we have it, then we can just publish. Obviously you'd go through and make some changes just by clicking on things. And if we view the page, it's there. Now of course the header and that would need a little bit of work. Um, we'd probably want to get rid of this homepage title thing, which is fine. We could do that by editing the site. In fact, what you would do First off, probably set that as the home page by going into settings and reading. And select the page we just created and then if we take a look. Then this is part of the site. So we need to adjust the uh, the page um, template. So we could do that by doing this and then getting rid of this title. In fact, we get rid of the entire thing, the spacer as well. Get rid of this as well, these bases. Yeah, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's just say, but let me just show you this. What I wanted to show you was that they were the complete pages. There we go. So that is Spectra. That's just the first look from what I can see. It all looks really good. Uh, I'm going to be playing around with it a lot more, and there's going to be some more videos on Spectra. I'm going to build a whole site with it, and I'm going to share that with you uh, in the very near future. Go check it out. It's free to check it out. Um, add it to your existing site if you're already running uh, the standard Gutenberg, the standard block editor, and see what you think. I'd love to know. And that brings us to the end of this video. What did you think about Spectra? You like what you see? Let me know in the comments. I do read all the comments that I get, and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. I'm going to be doing some more videos around Spectra, including some full-length tutorials, so make sure you don't miss out on those by clicking the subscribe button. Until next time, see you later.